There are two types of polycystic kidney disease. This video covers autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease, or ARPKD. First of all, what do our kidneys do? They do lots of important things apart from making urine or weed to get rid of waste, so we don't get poorly. Tell your body to make new red blood cells in your blood, keep your bones healthy and help to control your blood pressure. If you'd like to know more about blood pressure, watch our video on this. ARPKD is unusual. The kidneys get lots of small bubbles or balloons in them, which are filled with fluid and are called cysts. These cysts can grow over time. Some are as small as a pea and some are bigger. As they grow, they can make the kidneys very big overall, but also stop them from doing their job properly. Other organs, like the liver, can be affected. ARPKD is not something you can catch like an infection. It occurs when there is a problem with your genes. You get one copy of each of all your genes from your mum and dad, making you who you are. Think of them like instructions for how to make a person. When there is a mistake in the instructions on how to make kidneys from both your mum and dad, this can cause ARPKD. Cysts start very early on, usually even before being born. Bright big kidneys might be seen, or less fluid around the baby on scans. ARPKD changes from person to person. It affects girls and boys in equal numbers. Problems could be high blood pressure, back or side pain, infections in your tummy, a feeling of being full in your tummy even if you haven't eaten anything, headaches, enlarged blood vessels in the tube connecting your mouth and stomach, or urine infections. Your kidneys cannot concentrate urine as well. You may often feel thirsty, wee lots, and don't worry, bedwetting is common. Some children have no problems, but others may have lots. It is important to tell your family if you have tummy pains, problems weeing or headaches, as you may need to see your nurse or doctor for checkups more often and these may need treatment. If the kidneys get too big, then one or both may be removed to make you more comfortable. Sometimes the working parts of the kidney are taken over by the cysts and there is not enough working kidney left to keep you healthy. If this happens, then your kidney team will talk to you and your family about medicines to help. And they may even talk about treatments like dialysis or a kidney transplant. If your liver is also affected a lot, you might be offered a combined kidney liver transplant. Keeping your kidneys as healthy as possible is always a good idea. Some ways of doing this are, take the medicines the kidney team has given to you, Eat a healthy, low-salt diet and keep to a healthy weight. Drink plenty of water. Aim for at least 30 minutes of exercise most days. Go to your appointments where you can always ask questions. To find out more, visit these websites. Click on the links to our other videos that might be helpful too.